Let's talk about setting up a reference value in the tester. With the Celtron Advantage, you're going to have four different options for establishing a reference value for the string that you're going to test. If I drill into the reference menu, I have develop reference, battery library, input reference, and baseline testing. I'll go over each one of those options with you. If I pick develop reference, which is the first choice, it's going to take the top 30% by default of the cells or batteries that I test, and out of that top 30%, it's going to look at the average and select the baseline reference value for me. You can change that percentage to whatever you want. You can either scroll through and change it, or you can use the keypads to change it. Uh, Metronix recommends 30%, that's the default, but again, you can change that to whatever you see fit. Next option is the battery library. The battery library is going to have a list of many different battery manufacturers. Inside that manufacturer list is going to be model numbers. If you can find the model number that you are testing, you just select that. There's going to be the reference value associated with that, and it's going to be saved into the tester for your test. Option after that is to input a reference. If I go into there and I know what the reference value should be for the battery because my company maybe has a list of the batteries we use and the numbers that they want us to use for the reference value, I could go into here. I can scroll to change to the value that I need, or I could use the keypad to set up a value that I need to put in. Once I have it set, I hit select, it saves it, and my last option in here is if I do baseline testing, what baseline testing is going to do if I choose that is if the string's uniformity is good, so all my batteries look nice and tight, I'm going to take the average of all the cells, all the batteries that I tested, and from all of those values, I'm going to take the average and set that as my baseline. So those are your four options you have for entering a baseline into the test.